Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. This pack is Poops Magoops. I'm gonna need you to draft green mid-range. <laughs> These are a lot of requests. I'm getting a lot of requests from the the Stuart Ulm Gallery. What do you do with these poops, magoops? I guess we're just taking Retrofitter Foundry. So you say Super Friends when there's a pack with Doretti and Sahili, which are not very good. I, if this Sahili comes back though, I think it's good with Retrofitter Foundry. Well, I think we probably will take a second pick Emrakul. Maybe. Scalding Tarn's better though, right? Scalding Tarn lets us cast our spells. Fuck yeah, we're taking a Scalding Tarn. Slow and Library. Little Stewie loves that shit. That's that good shit. The real friends were the friends we supered. <laughs> That sounds inappropriate somehow. Somehow. I don't know how. I kind of just like missed the confluence here, to be honest with you. We got a Scalding Tarn. There's a Bee Steel. Bee Steel, my heart. Nothing we can get with a Scalding Tarn. It's good with Tinker. Can we Tinker? Maybe. Who knows, you know? Sky's the limit, really. This pack's pretty meh. Probably take Blightsteel, I guess. What the hell? You know, there's an Intuition, there's a Teferi. Baleful Mastery. Deluge is pretty good. I do like a Deluge. Yeah, Deluge seems like the strongest card in here. We could also take Teferi and then like take some of those aggressive white cards if they come back. I want the Deluge. There's a Lily. We could have also taken Sea Chrome Coast. Could take Mystic Forge. Yeah, we're just taking Liliana here, I think. Right? It's Liliana? Or it could be Bone Crusher Giant. We don't have to be black. Or it could be Mystic Forge. There's a lot of possibilities here, guys. We live in a world of possibilities. Shit, I don't know what possibility to take. I'm going to take the Mystic Forge. I'm going crazy. We're going to take Flooded Strand here. I think Mystic Forge is gonna bite us in the ass, but that's okay. That's okay. We're just we're just we're living on the, the seat of our pants here, you know. We could be Esper. Should we Esper? Let's Esper. Let's see if Esper is a thing. Oh, there's a Lingering Souls. That's good with Esper. So is Deep Cavern Bat. So is Lingering Souls. So is Deep Cavern Bat. This is a mistake. That's okay. Sometimes you sometimes you, you get too ambitious, you know? I think I like Lingering Souls better than Bat. Plus we got the Flooded Strand. We could be Jeskai too. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going on. It's, it's our world. Everyone else is just living in it with us. So it's their world too. It's everybody's world. It's a commune. We're just in the commune together, you know? Everybody's having a good time. Okay, we don't want to be red. We could Dark Confidant. That's pretty good with Blightsteel, I think. It's not. But we could get to a point where Blight... Where, maybe we're Dark Confidanting. Blade Splicer. This is what I was talking about. There's also Evolve Sleeper and Underdog. I kind of like underdog here. All right. You know what? This guy's going away. Torok. That guy only costs two. Baleful Mastery. 
those are some good last picks. It's giving me the confidence I need, you know? All right. I don't know what's going on here, but... What do we got? Stoneforge? Fallen Shinobi again. God damn, dude. Preordain. Stoneforge. Preordain. Fallen Shinobi. What's the what's the pick here? It's not Stoneforge, right? Stoneforge might even come back. And I think we passed Batter Skull in the first pack, unless I'm mistaken. Fallen Shinobi is so much better than Preordain. Come on, man. This is not coming back. You you sound crazy, Alan. Asian Mike over here. <sighs> Damn it. I do like Esper Sentinel, but that guy's probably... I'm going to take Shinobi because, really... What happened? Did I not take it? Oh, and then there's a Mind Twist again. What's going on? Did we get Mind Twist last draft and just never draw it once? Is that what happened or was it draft before that? Draft before that we were mono blue. So I'm pretty sure it was last draft and we literally just never Thank saw it. You. Oh, what up, Mark? Thank you for the resub, my dude. Two years. Happy, happy two year birthday, buddy. I think it's Mind Twist and then we hope to... Oh, God, there's Fracture Identity too. Minskin Boo... Can we splash that? Bitter Triumph is great. Ponder's great. Portal to Phyrexia is pretty good. It does let our Tinker Dream survive, but I don't think we're tinkering. Let's 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 I think it's Ponder here. Ah, Bitter Triumph is really good. I think it's Bitter Triumph over Ponder. Oh my god, we just passed Sneak Attack and here's a Through the Breach. Unbelievable, man. Just unbelievable. We don't want to be red. There's no red. We're not red. Just don't be red. Don't be stupid. I like Massacre Girl. I like Urza too, though. Yeah, I'll just take the Urza. Urza's pretty good here. I like Fleshy Boy. Fury's really good. Recurring Nightmares doesn't seem great in our deck. Flesh Gorger's rough with Dark Confidant. I still think it's good, though. All right, well, I'm probably going to table this guy now that we have... Eh, actually, if we just have Flesh Gorger, it's still not terrible. I don't know what's going on with this draft, so... I can't, I can't vouch for it. Here's a blue-black talisman. There's an exhume and a dismember. I think it's got to be dismember, right? Vendillion Click's also not bad for Fallen Shinobi. We have nothing to search for with Flooded Strand or Scalding Tarn yet, so. I, I like Leak, but I don't feel like we're a counter spell deck. I feel like we're tapping out for our guys. This Leak is still very good, though. I also don't hate Talisman to like ramp towards Turok or Urza. I think I actually kind of like Talisman here. Especially for like tapping out. Snuff, Snuffleupagus. Triplicate Titan. Yeah, let's take Snuff out. Oh, Baleful Strix? That's actually great. Okay. All right, this is fairly interesting. Also, Retrofitter Foundry makes decent Fallen Shinobi ninjutsu creatures. This guy's presumably a three, which makes it look a little better. 
Yeah, I like this. I like what we have so far. I would love Scrubland or Tundra. <laughs> A land that's neither of our, only one of our three colors, of course. Samwise is fine. I'm not excited by him. That don't impress me much. Trinket Mage. You could be good depending on what we open in the next pack. Ulamog, probably not great. We'll take a Trinket Mage. We can at least get a Retrofitter Foundry, and if we hit, like, Lotus or Mox or... Currency Converter. Soul Ring? Soul Ring would be nice. We've passed so many big creatures, and that should be fine, but it really bothers me for some reason. <laughs> I just love having cards like Emrakul and Atraxa and Atali in my deck. Um, It's either Brutality or Unlicensed Hearse. I think Unlicensed Hearse is a little bit better here. Actually, Massacre Girl I was going to take, so that's totally fine. I think having graveyard removal is pretty good. Oh, wow. Recurring Nightmare came back? That's fascinating. Especially with Lingering Souls and Retrofitter Foundry. Now I feel like we have something to... I mean, even if you're just like returning creatures that have died, that's not terrible. I mean, Sam might be fine with two fetch lands. I just kind of want lands that we can search for with our fetch lands, that's all. Because if we're just getting swamps and, <laughs> and mountain islands, it's, it's not very good. You can't even get swamps because we don't have any black fetch lands. Well, this is not the pack we were hoping for. <laughs> zero, zero artifacts, zero land, zero power. Fantastic. Dak Faden. Pretty, is probably the best card in this pack. This is just terrible. What would auto select take? Oh, Eternal Witness, double green. Seems good. I I mean, Timeless Dragon's interesting, but it's I don't really want a double white card. I would rather just splash red off like Scalding Tarn and Inspiring Vantage. I think that's probably fine. It's also a discard outlet in case we want a recurring nightmare. All right, we're definitely taking Scrubland here. <sighs> which we can get off Flooded Strand, which seems fine. Stuart might be the auto-select. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. I'll have to see if the next time Sylvan Library shows up, if it's auto-selected. Bloodstained Mire, <laughs> another fetch land. Creeping Tar Pit is probably better at this point. Eh, Bloodstained Mire does get Scrum Land. Bloodstained Mire also gets a it's another red source for for like a just a, a single mountain. I think I'm just gonna take the Bloodstained Mire. You should be so lucky as to have me as your auto <laughs> Uh Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that we get something that we can, like, that will hit, like, Watery Grave or Underground Sea. 
I do like a show and tell, but I don't know if we're show and telling here. It might just be Night's Whisper. I do like Skyclave Apparition, but Double White's not ideal. Loose Focus also kind of impressive. I was I was pretty impressed by this for three mana. It's just counter unless they spent four. And like the more mana you just keep up, the better it is. We could also take Spire Bluff Canal. Uh, Blood Crypt is okay. I don't know if I love it. Snapcaster Mage, what do you hit? Bitter Triumph. We Reanimate's probably the pick here, actually. Yeah, I'm going to take Reanimate here. There's an Entomb, and we passed all of the creatures. Why are all the Black Red Lands coming? Well, I mean, we only have three, three-ish blue cards. Double, eh. Trinket Mage isn't even that great. Oh man, what if this is, oh boy. We don't even have great options to Entomb. I think we just have to stay the course and play Reanimate as a thing. I'm gonna take Haunted Ridge. Urtai's fine. Man, this is not going the direction we wanted it to go, unfortunately. Plain Swamp again. <sighs> it's still the best card in the pack for us. Like, Scalding Tarn can't even get anything right now. The only thing we passed is, like, a Blood Crypt, I think. This is it. This is oh, my God. Videos just start playing, dude. Well, I think at the point of Badlands, we weren't actually looking at Dak Faden. I think that was pre Dak Faden. You can also just play Unlicensed Hearse in the main. I don't know. Maybe this is tempo enough to do something. We have a lot of removal. Timeless Dragon has gotten better now that we have Scrubland and Doth the Triome and Shattered Sanctum. What's the, what's the auto pick here? Still Eternal Witness. All right. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I'll take Timeless Dragon. Dothy Voidwalker. Okay. Maybe we're just lightly splashing blue and red and white. Maybe we're just mainly black. And then we get Inspired Vantage in here as well. Oh, the Creeping Tar Pit came back? <laughs> okay. Well, sure. Do we play this Dark Confidant? Got a lot of expensive shit in here. Oh, wow. Night's Whisper came back? So literally like, everything is coming back that we kind of wanted. Oh man, Matt's feeling bold. 
I'm gonna I'll I'll probably run it, but I don't know if it's correct. We also have Talisman of Dominance, which is nice. Beseech. Seasoned Hollow Blade is interesting. It's a discard outlet. Let's take the Beseech. I can see playing Beseech. Wow. 14th pick in Tomb? What in the earth? Come on. Come on. I don't even think we're in a Tomb deck, honestly. You're a four. I do like Entomb. I do like. I don't know if I like Ursa so much. Uh, I do like this guy. Toxic Deluge, Current Emerald. Everything else seems decent here. I think I would risk double blue for this just because it's such a good tempo play as well. Like, you could just bounce three of their guys. We need two more cuts. Probably Entomb. I don't think we're Entombing anything, which is really weird. And we'll probably board in Deluge if we need it. Man, this mana base is wild. Sort by color. <laughs> blue, blue, blue. One red. Sure. This is... This is really something. Alright. Black sources. We have four... Five, six. Does Scalding Tarn get anything? Not really. It gets an island. I guess if we're playing one island, one mountain, that's probably fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a good amount of black, actually. Red, we have one, two, Three, four, five, six. Six actually seems good. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, five. That seems worse, right? Am I crazy? One, two, three, four, five. Bloodstained Mire doesn't get a blue, right? Yeah, that's pretty bad. We definitely want another blue. White, we have one, two. Does Scalding Tarn get a white? No, it only gets... Tr Triome is our only searchable white. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't even think we need planes, to be honest. We have two white cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight... We'll probably cut a black and add another blue because we do have five blue cards. All right. Well, I don't know what this deck's going to do, but I guess we'll find out. All right. This, this deck is... <laughs> Fantastic. I will mulligan. I'll keep this. This is good. Man, oh man. Six lands, recurring nightmare. Oh, I'm sorry. Six mana sources. That's correct. A talisman of dominance is not a land. <laughs> That's true. Look at that guy. Land, huh? Can we get a red with that? I don't think so. Man. Yeah, it's either all lands or no lands. Magic has no chill.
Definitely bringing in Toxic Deluge here. Oh, wow, that was a good draw. Um, I think we just play this into Gorger. Oh my god, Toxic Deluge would be fucking brutal right now. Good lord. Yet not a single artifact among them. What? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Stop it. Get some help. I think we're just gonna Knight's Whisper here. Beseech the mirror, huh? Interesting. Let's go get in Dotha Triome. Or we can get Scrubland play Dak. That actually seems pretty good. Yeah, I like that better. Blue, red, daiquiri. Hickory, daiquiri, dock. Draw two. Why did they attack? I don't get it. Uh, we do have three black now, which is nice. We don't need to try them where the, I think we're just pitching Ridge and Tarn. We can't cast this guy without the second white, though. Oh, yeah, so we're casting Ridge and Tarn for sure, and that's correct. They have one power. If they want to double attack Dak, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, okay. What the hell? I don't think this is lethal. This is nine, four. It's not lethal. I think we're actually okay here. This is a four, six. This is a four, five. All right, we'll block the four, five. We'll go to like three. Yeah, it's, it's rough, but that's okay. Tenacious underdog. What do you do, my little, my little rascal? Like, we can just block here, and then they have no more power on the board. Well, that's totally fine. I wish I wanted to take a picture of the deck so I can know what to beseech here. But let's look for, like, Fallen Shinobi, huh? Massacre Girl. <sighs> that unfortunately doesn't do it. It would deal one, kill nothing... So if we attack for eight, we have to, we actually have to keep a guy back. Let's pitch these two. Gain some life here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play the, it's the girl. Uh, Hoof does, Hoof gives Trample. They give plus X, plus X, and Trample. This is a Toxic Deluge deck for sure here. You got it. Man, look at all this. They're drawing Copper Line. Yeah, 100% block. Snap block. Oh, I did not play my land. I did forget to play my land. Sad. Very sad. Well, just keep on drawing, I guess. Oh, well, I guess we draw that, so that's fine. 
Uh, still going to pitch two islands here. Well, I think we can safely attack with both. What is my favorite card to draft around? Great question. Probably channel, though I don't think it's the best card to draft around. There's got to be a good Besiege target, right? There's got to be something good we can Besiege for. Even if it's just killing Jace. I mean, they're at 8, though. Maybe we just play this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4. This probably feels correct. Oh, there's a channel. <laughs> All right, Jace is flipped. You can show and tell. Which kind of puts me, puts me gives me a little fear, I'll be honest. They did target show and tell. Well, that's no good. Great. I'm not going to put my land into play. Oh, come the fuck on. Wait. What? Uh. <laughs> wait. Wait. Wait a minute. But Dak Faden. What? I'm very confused about what's going on right now. Oh, Torok. It doesn't have to re-enter. I just get the at the beginning of upkeep, put a creature from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. I just need the <laughs> I just need that ability. Jace can only plus one here. I think we just play Torok and get rid of their last card. They're drawing Sheldock, which I don't really care about. Whoa, Nissa? Really glad we did that. Good grief. I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to keep this because, again, like I want to be able to activate Dak and have something to pitch. Okay, they just, they drew Sheldock. They can't do the Jace thing. Okay, rule. Oh, we just won the game. Great. Oh, Mind Twist? That would have been good when they have no cards in hand. I love it. Uh, Toxic Deluge and Hearse can come in. Hearse because they have Jace and they're going to try to hit those graveyard things. Let's take Recurring Nightmare out. I don't think Recurring Nightmare is even that good, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't think we ended up with a great Recurring Nightmare deck. However, if we reanimated their Crater Hoof, that's not terrible.
Oh yeah, let's take a quick pick too because I want to be able to remember what we can get with with big sieges and with our fetches. We have a lot of reason to have a screenshot. All right. Um, do we cut anything or do you just run it as as a 41er? 41er. Wow. <laughs> Did did Aaron Campbell show up the same second I put unlicensed hearse on the deck? It's very possible. It's very possible. Her timing is impeccable. I'm at the gym and Andy's play is the episode on right. And Andy's play is the episode on right. Uh, okay. You mean right now, and you're saying the one where Andy is in, um, fuck, what's it called? The Demon Barber of Seville. What's that shit called? Uh, Todd Sweeney? Is that right? <laughs> the, do you mean it's rough because it's very cringe at certain parts? Because it really is. Sweeney Todd. What did I say? Todd Sweeney? <laughs> yeah, no, I just reversed it. That's fine. Did I say Sweeney? Did I say Todd Sweeney? Because that makes more sense as a name. If there was, if I was to say to you, "Hey, there's a person, and his name is either Todd Sweeney or Sweeney Todd," which would you think it was? You'd think it was Todd Sweeney. I'm gonna mulligan this hand because again, lands. I'm gonna keep this one. Vantage is really good. It gives us all those colors, all those juicy colors. Shit, I actually like Vantage here a lot. It might just be Talisman. Because I think her play is 1, 2, 3. Todd Sweeney was my gym teacher in middle school. Tell me more about Todd Sweeney. Was he a good guy? Oh boy. Oh boy. What a little rascal. Oh Jesus. Come on. Come on with this. I mean, I think we just have to run Dark Confidant and block. Christ. And then just try to hope to hit something that deals with this guy. I don't know what that might be. Nobody knows. Oh man, if we can hit a DAC off the top, give me, give me a break. I'll take a reanimate too. No, that doesn't keep us alive. Come on, two cards, two cards. Come on, baby. Baleful doesn't do it. Reanimate still doesn't do it, right? Reanimates, we can block five, we take six. Not great, Bob. Not great, Bob. Are we dead? I think we're just dead. You're about to get your Todd's. Yeah, it's it's already happening. Let's see. Source of plowshares. You ready? Come on. One time. It's not in the deck. Huh? Scrubland. Okay, well, they got me. What can I do about that? Should I put my own blight steel in in case they show and tell? I think so. I'll take out unlicensed hearse for that. The graveyard is safe once again. This doesn't seem great, right? But it's got to be funny, right? If they go blight steel, we go blight steel. Come on, that's funny. Nothing else in here deals with blight steel. So, you know what? I'll keep this hand. We can whisper into some stuff, you know? It's gotta be. Yeah, we'd attack with our blight steel first, then they just block with theirs. So, very exciting. Uh, 
one to the sky. Okay. Well, no extra lands. Oh, I like that guy. Okay, okay, okay. Okie dokie, artichokey. I'm tempted to kill this. They don't have a blue source. Maybe that's correct. This feels correct because they literally green sun zenith for it. So maybe they just don't have a blue source. Okay, they had a blue source. Well, they got a coalition relic as well. So was that worth it? I don't. A crushing blow? Yes. Will I get over it? Mm. No. But life goes on. Not for me. <sighs> we asked for it, right? We asked for it. We did it to ourselves. You don't have to apologize. It was funny. But we are show and tell proof. And that's got to be worth something. This is what death feels like. And they get to see it, so if they show and tell, they know we have it. That's hilarious. This particular confidant was especially confident, is what that guy was. I think we get in Dotha Triome. Okay. It doesn't kill us, I guess. It's one of the few ways to give a creature haste in the in in the green deck, so that's that's kind of funny. This is a pretty easy block. Are we dead? Yes. Oh, Lord. Well, we tried. Okay. Hmm. I don't hate it. I'm gonna scrub land. All right, could be worse. Scrubland into underdog. Or we could just, uh, wow, that's good. I think we confit on here, right? I like talisman into potentially, let's talisman if we hit another black source. We can play, or we hit another any source. We can actually play Torok or two cards. I think keeping up with the mana here is important. Interesting. Land. It's not a land. We could try to Night's Whisper hit a land. I think we do that. Okay, that's good. Now we can go Confidant. We could also hit with Confidant next turn for Fallen Shinobi. Huh. 
Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, considering we're already we're already one two, I do not feel like our our odds of going three oh six oh is very good. Great. But that's not time related. That's that's record related. Well, they just didn't do anything, all right. Well. I mean, I really wish I had the same luck as my opponents do when it comes to things like show and tell and through the breach. I, I feel like I would 6-0 my draft significantly easier if that was the case. I assume they're going to untap Basalt Monolith and then cast something for nine. That's my guess. What? Pay the mana. Okay, there's that. And mana. Fantastic. Very good. Well, that'll do. All right. This was a very enjoyable romp that we had. Not sure how to deal with Through the Breach, except for maybe Mind Twist or you know, Torok or any number of cards that make them discard. Baleful Mastery would have been good there. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, yeah, this is a this has all the beautiful colors. I do like that, especially if they play something artifacty. Fantastic. Oh, boy. How does it keep happening? Um... I mean, I'm very tempted to just snuff this guy out and play Dak. Seems really bad. Then they could just attack Dak and shoot him, which is worse, maybe. I'm um, just going to play Dak here and we'll see what happens, I guess. I, I don't know. It feels bad wasting a snuff out on this. You can easily pitch Mountain and something else. Uh, I like Shattered Sanctum. Mountain. I do want a second blue. So I think it's just Mountain Triome here. Mm. 
You got it. No land, huh? Can I steal that? Well, he does anything, but I sure can. Spire Bluff. What do you do? I think we're just gonna play this and go. Actually, let's. I want to go. I want to go get the. Mm, now we'll see what we can hit. I don't want to draw like one of the only islands, but we have a ton of islands in the deck, so I'm not really super concerned with that. We can pitch these two, I think. Yeah, this feels a lot better than the first game. We'll see if that matters, though. The next time we can keep it Mystic Confluence, which feels pretty commanding. It's a confluence, not a command. <laughs> sure. Just kidding. Yep. Sounds good. You're an untap. You're dynamo. Well, it's definitely going to be Ulamog because they have 11 mana. Of course it is. Can you just get rid of Dak Faden? That's not terrible. This is actually just fine. We're just going to bounce it. Oh, this is five, six, seven, eight. This guy don't have death touch, so that's worth noting. Well, we definitely have to... I'd just rather do this now because... Then again, keeping Counterspell up just seems good. But then what if they have a Counterspell? Boy, there's really some things going on here. One, two, three. Use one to untap. Four, five, six, seven, eight... They're three mana away from recasting. I don't think they're going to be able to recast. Even if they do, I don't think I care. Because we do still have Creeping Tarpet as well, so... What does Beseech get us here? Baleful Mastery, Urtai. Okay, so I think they have access to 10. This is five, six, they have nine, okay. <laughs> they do have mana for portal in the future. So we know they have a little log and portal. That's very good. What did they what did they do? 
They just put a counter on Ballista? Sure. Hmm. Put you in the front. It is too late for you to respond. Fallen Shinobi, doing the deed. All right, well, <laughs> one more game. Do we deluge? I don't think we're deluging, man. It's good to know they have both channel and through the breach. They're doing all my favorite things, except they get to draw their things. Yeah, all right. We could get in Dotha Triome. That gives us all of our mana. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that feels correct. No attack. That's interesting. What could I have done? Yeah, let's get Triome here. Oh, that's a good draw. Well, hopefully they don't go through the breach somehow this turn. They could channel. I bet they channel. They didn't channel. Oh, wow. Well, I'm definitely going to mind twist them. Because that feels the best. One, two, three, four. Fractured through the breach and portal. <laughs> That's a good hit. I'm okay with that. Yep, you got it. And now we're going to steal that with Dacula. Count Dacula. So we have red, blue, yeah, we'll just play mountain here and we'll go blue, red, colorless. I think they F6, so they didn't have a chance to tap that in response, which is pretty sweet. I do enjoy that. But I'm just keeping Bitter Triumph up to deal with the Delighted Halfling because they're going to attack Dak and I'm, I don't like that. Game easy life. Huh. So now we can just, yeah, we'll just plus here. We can just make a retrofitter for next turn. Oh, that's, that's the play. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So let's pitch. I think it's Beseech and land. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, maybe it's just two lands here. Uh, black, black, black. Ulamog and expressive iteration. Sure. Graveyard go bye-bye. Well, they have no cards, no graveyard, so they're in top deck mode. Bird of Paradise, beautiful.
Do we shinobi here? Obviously. Goes without saying. Do you fear it? Not enough. Okay, blue, red, colorless, black. <laughs> there it is. There's your boy. <laughs> Let's just cast an Ulamog. How's that? How, how do you like me now? As the kids say. Well, I did not, I did not expect the win because this deck is kind of all over the place, but I'll take it. I still don't think Beseech is good. I really wanted to like Beseech. I just think it's too hard to bargain for. And you have to want something like really specific for it. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to cut it from my own cube as well. And away we go. Two lands? I'll keep two lands with Tenacious and Torok in here. Sure, that seems fine. I would love Dak Faden mana. We also have Snuff Out, which is good. That's that's a free that's just a freebie. Okay. Uh, let's go get a Scrubland, I guess. And then we can also just reanimate our flyer. That's pretty good. Turn three, five, five with Snuff Out backup. Sure. That's sad. Okay, I like a Dread Cantor. Manalik and Bowman's, I love it. Non black. Uh, what are they doing? Blood Chiefs thirsting? Hmm. That's good. Why Torok gotta be costing two mana, you know? Sad. That's very efficient. Yep. Recurring Nightmare. Boy, you don't seem very good, do you? What can we beseech for here? A blue source. So we can get anything. They don't get to know what we get either. So we can go get Fallen Shinobi, but then we have to take like, we also don't have a blue source. We could also sacrifice this guy. Bargain is artifact, creature, enchantment, right? Artifact, enchantment, or token. Oh, you can't even sack a creature. That's interesting. Well, we might as well cast it because we're not going to do anything else this turn. Hmm. 
And I'd rather this guy not flip. All right, let's go look and see what we have at least. <laughs> look at our entire deck. Um, Lingering Souls is interesting. Baleful Strix, Flesh Gorger, Mind Twist Confluence, you know, single blue little and double blue. Bitter Triumph, Baleful Mastery. What's our plan? They attack us for five, we go to five. We attack them for five. Kind of feels like Lingering Souls. Sure. I mean, Lingering Souls puts up a lot of blocks. I almost like Wishclaw Talisman better because the times you use Wishclaw Talisman are like the times uh, you're going off, so it only costs like three. <laughs> well, that's good. But without a land here, it's pretty rough. Because they just get to eat it, right? Well, what turn is a six? We've missed two land drops so far. That's pretty good. <sighs> Fucking contagion. Card's not even good. Let's bring in Deluge. Let's take Snuff Out out. They have a lot of black creatures. That's unfortunate. We also have what? One, two, three. No, Bloodstained Mire doesn't actually get one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue sources. Eight blue sources. We hit none. Okay. Um. I almost feel like Tribal Flames is decent in this deck. Like, we have Indotha Triumph plus Mountain plus Island. Like, we have all of the colors. Let's take out Nightmare. I, I don't think Nightmare has been good. I think Urza is probably better than Beseech as well. I feel like these are some decent changes that probably should have been like this the whole time. Fantastic. Sure. I think we ship Mystic Confluence. Hold on a second. I have this cardboard on the floor. I have a cardboard box and Hunter just keeps walking in and out of the room, in and out and in and out and in and out. And he's just like walking all over the cardboard and that's fine. But the sound is extremely jarring. It's like nails on chalkboard. So, you know, just gotta go. See you later, bud. Like he just does this thing where he just walks back and forth. And it's kind of funny. So now we have Tribal Flames that 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 <laughs> does zero damage. This is just it, man. This is just the simulation that is my life, I think. <sighs> Mind Twist for two. Mm, not the best. Sure. I have not seen this guy in ages, man. I actually forgot this guy was in the cube. Sure. Yeah, Tribal Flames, let's pitch it. Let's hit a land and then Tribal Fl and then Mind Twist them for three. Great. I mean, I don't know why I can't hit lands. Like, I don't understand. Like, my deck has 17 lands. I'm not cracking fetches. I don't get it. Where are the fucking lands? Like, who knows? Ha! 
I'm walking underground, see, sure. Let's both discard. Perfect. Uh, I will pitch Foundry. They have no cards in hand. They discarded Hull Breacher? That's fascinating. Uh, use this for black. So we just have to hope we hit a land so we can Urtai their Liliana. Otherwise, Liliana just... Well, I guess Liliana negativing doesn't really do much for us. Uh, get rid of Massacre Girl. Sure. Hmm. Mm, this seems better. Night's Whisper. Swamp. Talisman. And we can pitch Triome and then, great. So now we can just kill Ileana and you have no cards at hand. Seems good. Well, they get two cards now. Cycled one of them. Played a land, great. Sure, that's actually completely fine. That guy did his job. Uh, blue, blue, one, one. What do we have that we can get with Bloodstained Mire? At least, at least a mountain. I mean, in a top deck war, Urza is pretty good. We actually don't need to get anything. We're at nine. This is fine. Dak Faden. One. Two. Now we do need to get it, though. No, we can just tap. Tap and untap for blue. Beautiful red. Black. Dizak. Did you top like a counter spell? No, okay. Huh. Um Yeah, I think we just pitched two lands here. That seems fine. They have nothing in the grave. If they had draw time uh, Snapcaster, it's very good. Especially with, I mean, time walk, Snapcaster time walk's pretty nice. I feel like they're taking their time. Like, so now we would have Swamp... We could go get Mountain. So Tribal Flames would be a shock. It's still not great. Okay, they didn't do anything. That's good for us, I guess. I mean, the more lands they play, the better we're looking. That's a thing, all right. I can also Snapcaster Deluge, which is a thing.
Well, now they have no cards, which is good. We're going to DAC here because I'd rather discard the dragon and draw something else because the dragon is still a guy. Now, next turn we can play Baleful Strix and Dragon, I think. If we get another white source, we can get Scrubland with this. And we have white, white, black, 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 blue. It's all there. One top, one bottom. Yep, I figured. I figured one of the few cards you're going to keep here is Snapcaster, so... Toxic Deluge for four. You got it. I mean, this is why it's nice to have Baleful and Dragon still. That's interesting. So let's go... Blue, black. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Crack this and go to eight. Where's our scrub land? It's in the graveyard. Is that right? Sure is. That's unfortunate. Do we not just not have a second white to cast this guy now? That seems to be the case. Um, get rid of Tarn and also Triome is in the graveyard. Yeah, so let's get rid of Tarn. And Confidant. And I guess we'll just play Gorger. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I don't think we have a second white. That's a second white. Bowmasters in the graveyard, yeah, might as well. Pitch, pitch. Play, and then... We could have had them on a one-turn clock if we actually attack with Tar Pit as well. But I was focusing on keeping up Baleful Mastery up in case they play something that we don't want. Okay, that's going to do it. Hello? Are you winning, my boo? Not really. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not great. Looks like you're hitting... Oh. Well, no, this is okay. Oh, they have to pay life equal to its state. Let them pay the ward. And now we're going to counter this. Actually, what are, are these are counters? Native, yeah, I don't want counters on these guys. That's just sad. That would just be tragic. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. Squid, 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 but oh, they used all that, that light. It's true. They did. For, Suckers. For nothing. And they're probably like this. Yeah. Right now. That's probably their face. Babe, how's my emote coming? Uh, I keep forgetting. I really keep forgetting. I'm so sorry. It's not intentional. I'll forgive you this one time. Okay. Thank goodness. Next time, though. <sighs> Are they ever going to let this resolve? Or? Come on, squid, squid, Jesus, squid. Oh, my ear is right there. <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh, my God. Play faster. Maybe they're making a waffle. Yeah, that's probably, <laughs> that's probably what it is. Uh, yeah, we'll do one of these jobbies. T -t -t Today, Junior? I see Kessim still, still number one. Yeah, it's hard to beat that 51. Shua Garner's catching up, though. He'll get there. I believe in him. Okay. 
Where was that guy? He's like, waffle only takes two minutes to cook, boy. Do I use deck? No. I guess I'll get an emblem. Why not, you know? It's good to have emblems. Didn't you say you weren't winning? Uh, I'm like, what am I, 1-1? One, one, or Am I 1-1 one, one, or am I 0-2? Oh, I don't even know what's going on. Don't worry about it. Well, he's been doing this the entire time, so that's why I shut my door, because he just goes back and forth on the cardboard, and it's really jarring. Like, he just keeps standing on the cardboard and going back and forth. Uh, let's take Tribal Flames out. Bring, I don't know what to bring in here. Is Samwise any good? I don't think so. Thank you, babe. I'm gonna bring in. A, <laughs> I'm gonna bring in a hearse, I guess, because they have. What do they have? They just have Snapcast. Do they have anything else that that hearse cares about? But they don't have any artifact removal, so like this guy could do some work. Tringamage only gets retrofitter. I actually don't hate Ferocidon here. Feels like kind of a beater. Like, honestly, if we hit our lands, I feel like our deck's not that bad. I do kind of like Dino. What else does does only since hit Hearse hit hit anything else other than just Snapcaster target? I don't think Underdog comes out. I'm trying to I'm trying to attack here. I'm trying to deal some damage, man. Come on, Alan. I don't want to take out a two a two mana beater for a three mana beater, you know? That's just bad beats. Take out the hearse, I guess. No, I like the hearse. Here we go. Um, this is good. This is a turn two Baleful Strix, which is fine. Plus we have these guys and the mana to cast them, so. Time walk. You got it. Well, they have four cards in hand. Now they have three. Sure. I'm pretty sure I just want to kill this guy with Bitter Triumph and discard Lingering Souls. Then again, Lingering Souls is a lot of beating. Maybe we just discard Retrofitter Foundry. Like, I'd rather have the four souls from Lingering Souls than one Retrofitter Foundry. Retrofitter's kind of slow in a deck like this. Sure. Probably Baleful Strix, right? I don't actually know. Yeah, that seems fine. You have one card in hand. I mean, if we hit any land here, we just get to go Baleful into Lingering, which is pretty good. Oh, they're just getting aggressive with this Tar Pit, I guess. 
Yep, that'll do. Let's get a... Can't get a blue source, so I guess we're just getting Scrubland. Jimmy Scrubland. There's a Baleful Mastery. We can cast that next turn after we flood the zone. Fingers crossed they don't have Deluge. Okay. Alright, they have no cards in hand, so they're drawing zero top, two bottom, so they didn't like it. All right, can we come back from this? Fingers crossed. Don't deluge me, bro. Contagion? Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's fantastic. How nice. Hearse not terrible here. We deluge for four. I think I think we're just I think that just put us way far behind. But we have to kill her because otherwise. Uh, let's get time walk and I guess we can wait. There's no rush. Like their tar pit's looking real good right now, though. Yep, now they get to activate their tar pit and Make their incubator? Sure. That's really good. <sighs> this is comical that we're going to lose this to Creeping Tar Pit and Massacre Girl. Hmm. Well, that is a guy. Mm-hmm. They go on face here? Interesting. Let's get rid of your graveyard guy. Your preordain, I guess. Oh, interesting. We need to we need to hit a blue source that's untapped though. That does not do it, so I guess we die. Where's a Taiga when you need it? I wouldn't even do it, actually. You'd have to... Or a Tundra, rather. One, two. One, two, three. <sighs> Mystic Confluence with no second blue source again, even though we have seven blue sources in the deck. And Urza makes a ton of blue mana. Yay. That's frustrating. Yep, wasn't meant to be. Felt really good at first, then they had Massacre Girl. So what can you do? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.